Hey, hey, ladies. Welcome to another Onyx ride. I'm gonna do a ride out here to my uh, favorite Korean fried chicken place today. You heard me right. We're doing fried chicken today, but it's not any fried chicken. It is Korean fried chicken. I don't know if you guys ever tried that but it's uh it's pretty good better than you know well i don't know if it's better than like popeyes and stuff but they do have this spicy chicken sandwich i want to ch check out yeah korean fried chicken this place is called bbq chicken and uh while i'm riding out to this thing i want to talk about you know i i've seen some comments about people asking me like why don't i compare like the huck cycle and uh, I'll give you my opinion on the Huck Cycles electric bike. Yeah, I've seen the Huck Cycles around and I watched a lot of videos on it and there's two main problems with that bike that I don't like. Don't hate me on this, you know, you Huck Cycles people. But, you know, this is just my personal opinion when I think about it. There's two main things. One of it is the design. I don't like that gas tank that they designed. It's way too big. It reminds me of like the ugly Monday motorbike um, gas tank. One of the main reasons why Super 73 and Onyx bikes are way up there, why they're number one, is because of their design. So come on, Huck Cycles, put some effort into that design. Like, but you know, I don't mean anything about that. Um, the Huck Cycle team, you know, you guys are making awesome electric bikes for people. That's cool. I'm just giving you my opinion. I think the design can be better because here's the thing why do people buy the onyx and the super 73 the design on those bikes are so nice the the onyx they take away your eyes away from that middle frame where there's a hole in there right a lot of people look at that when they're buying electric bikes they're looking at the hole in the bike frame no one wants to see that that's why motorcycles you know it has an engine everything like blocks that hole so onyx did an awesome job by covering that up making a great design and they make everything proportional to the bike you know if you look at the super 73 of course it has a hole in the frame there but they designed such a great tank for their bike that you know it looks like an awesome gas tank and that design takes your eyes away from that frame and they make everything proportional with like the way the seat is the way the handlebars everything looks so nice so design is key here you gotta hi put some money into the designer you know hire a really good designer and i gotta cut here right over here and so i you know design is number one in my eyes you know it's uh it's my opinion beauty is in the eyes of the beholder but you know what? I am the eye of the beholder. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be unfortunate. Nudes bar. Look at this. I gotta check this out. Japanese ramen house. Man, I miss Japanese ramen. I gotta get that sometime. What's this right here? The Mad Claw. Ooh, Cajun seafood restaurant. Oh my god, I gotta do that sometimes. But. The thing with Cajun food, or Cajun seafood right now, oh look at that boiled seafood. I love crawfish. The thing is like, you gotta just eat that for dinner. It's not a lunch thing. It's so, it's so much of it. And it's also, um, it gets kind of messy for lunch. But yeah guys, uh, getting back to the Huck cycle. You know, uh, here's number one though. Here's the number one thing about the Huck cycle that I didn't like. I went to their website to put together a bike and they're charging me 4,900. Price is number one for people. I don't care what you say. People are looking at price like crazy when they're buying electric bikes, you know? These bikes are expensive. They're looking at price. They're looking at design. There's BBQ chicken, Korean fried chicken. Like they're, they're letting me choose a seat like whoop de doo you're, you're charging me for that seat you won't let me reduce the price on that seat you're charging me for blinkers on the bike that's where the 4900 goes and i didn't like that with the onyx 40 4500 for the dirt kit right total right i get the dirt kit you know what i get i get this mesh thing right here i get fork boots 
I get like um, fenders. I'm getting knobbies for the 4500, but I can remove that if I don't want it. You know, um, Huck Cycles, you're not allowing me to do that. You're charging me 4900 and you'll allow me to pick the uh, road tires or the dirt tires. And you're giving me what, like blinkers? You're forcing me to buy the seat and the blinkers for 4900 And you're not even giving me fork boots? I saw that. Those little stuff like that. I ride a motorcycle. You really need fork boots on here. You don't want to mess up your forks. Like seriously, you're going to charge me 20 bucks, where it's already really high price 4900 you're going to charge me 20 bucks to get fork boots like i have to get those fork boots so it comes to 4920 so that's my hip that's my gripe like i don't mean any hate about this this is just constructive criticism i don't mean any hate on it but you know get the f out of here with that price uh for an extra 100 i can get the was it the saunders motorcycle for 5000 and that shit is like way faster way more range than the huck cycle Oh, another thing that bothers me with the, the Huck Cycle, the tank, the way that they designed that tank, I watched all these videos, and that tank dips down. I don't know what the heck is up with that. It needs to be aligned, and it dips down, and it looks so weird, and then you see this, like, the middle part of the frame, it's just, it's way off, and then the seat is just too long. Like, look at this, everything is proportional on this Onyx, and everything is proportional on the Super 73. That's why they're number one right now. Sorry, I'm just ranting here. But uh, much much love to you guys at Huck Cycles. You guys make awesome electric bikes. Maybe your version 3 will be a little bit better. Um, just like the Monday motorbike, look, they learned from it. They made the Anza. That shit looks tight. If that was the Huck's bike right there, I'd, I'd buy that. Because the Huck bike, I do what I do like about it, the Huck Cycles, they are comparable to the Onyx. It has the same range, same speed, you know. Even has the same speedometer, like the screen here is exactly the same. So I wouldn't mind getting that. But if it looked like the Anza, yeah, I'd get that. It all comes down to design and then price. It's the main thing. What else do they have here? Kung Fu tea. I'm gonna grab that after too. Chili house. You grill Korean barbecue over there. But I'm gonna get some barbecue chicken right now. Some Korean fry barbecue chicken sandwich. Maybe I'll get some wings too. Stay tuned. I'm gonna go in and get some. Thank you. We got our meal, ladies. The cool thing with this place is that they give you these Korean radishes. It's so good. When you eat it with spicy food and then you eat the radishes with it, it cools you down and it tastes so good. Check it out. I'm going to show you what Korean fried chicken looks like. This is the chicken sandwich. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, ladies. Check that out. I oh, can't wait to eat that. And then I got some wings. Oh my gosh, look at these wings. These are the honey garlic wings. It's one of the best. But uh, I'm probably gonna take that home. And then they also gave me some hand wipes. Sweet, because it's gonna get messy. I got the house spicy chicken. It's pretty good, but if you want it really hot, just get the spicy. Check this out. <laughs> I just stuffed it in here. I hope it holds. It looks okay. It's not gonna fall. There we go. I'll just lock it in like that. It's, it's go nowhere. Perfect. All right, I'm taking those wings home. I'm super full from that sandwich. That sandwich was pretty big, actually. It was a lot of sandwich. Can I throw this away here? Yes, I can. Okay, peeps. I'm just going to head back now. Hope you guys enjoyed this little foodie adventure to a Korean barbecue fried chicken sandwich place. It was pretty good. Korean fried chicken, go check them out if you're... There's one in um, Irvine. That's where I originally tried it. It's really good. And now there's one in Rancho Cucamonga over here. So I'm pretty happy that it's pretty close by to me. But I gotta check out these other places here sometime. Um. 
cantina right, I'm just gonna head back through this little dirt road this is route 66 this right here this way it's uh, it gets a lot of traffic Yeah, can I cut through here? Can I dirt road this up? No one's gonna say anything, right? Yeah. Dirt road. Oh, slipping and sliding. Dude, can I burn out right here? All these people are like, what the heck is he doing? Just tearing it up in your dirt path here, baby. Oh, look at the little squirrel over here. What are they trying to build right here? This thing here. We're gonna go through this. What is this? Some junk right here. All right, all these people are like, what the heck is he doing? <laughs> Look at that thing, Chewbacca in the window. <laughs> yeah. Got a little path for me. Woo. Let's get it, people. How you do it? Ooh. Oh man, does this lane end here? Can I get over? Look at all this junk here. There is Bass Pro Shop right there. Awesome place. Bass Pro. A lot of people out over there. Get your fishing gear on. Hey, hey bike rider. Peace. Let's go check out Bass Pro. Bass Pro Shop. Do we stop? No, we don't stop because there's no one walking here. Why are you going to waste your time? There's no one walking. You're going to stop at every stop sign? I, I dare you guys to ride around LA and stop at every stop sign. Get wrecked. And you'll see what happens. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna cruise down Victoria Garden Mall. Cruise there with our chicken, our fried chicken here. Let's see who's around. Victoria Garden. And there is a baby stroller here that I don't wanna run over. So move it. But yeah, earlier about the Huck bike stuff, guys, that's just my opinion. Don't get butt hurt by it. You know, just my own opinion. That's what I think. Yeah, that's good. When I see kids walking like that, I give them the right of way. 
because I know kids are scared when you run up on them like that. <laughs> I don't want to freak them out and make them piss their pants. All these people chilling around shopping, wetzel pretzels. Oh. Shopping here, Sephora. Sephora's going off. Cruising around. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Oh. Everyone who's gonna thumbs it down, they're pretty much hug cycle people. Sorry about that. I love you guys. Either way, thanks for making electric bikes, making the world better. You know, just fix things up a bit. Yeah, skateboarder. Oh, it's got some tight wheels in there. Just gonna head back. And by the time I head back, I'll probably be hungry again, eat these chicken wings. Because they're so yummy. Hope you guys enjoyed. We are out of here, ladies. See you again next time. Peace out. Woo! Oh my god, my chicken fell out. Oh my god. How am I going to do this? I got to stop up here. I gotta stop up here and hold my chicken. Oh my god. <laughs> that was almost a disaster. If it was a green light, that would have been a disaster. Now I gotta stop in here and readjust. That's a close call. All right, so it looks like I gotta just grip onto it like this for the rest of the way back. Thanks for watching, guys. I mean, girls. <laughs> Appreciate it, people. I'll see you again in the next video. I don't know what the next one would be. I'm thinking of going up to Orange County and doing some bike riding up there. So I'll see you again soon. Peace out. <laughs>